Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh so Welcome to episode number 17 of the story time series And in today's story time, we'll be reading the story The story of Al-Qamah radiallahu anhum So may I begin with the story The story of Al-Qamah radiallahu anhum Al-Qamah radiallahu anhum was a very pious person He spent his time in salah and fasting At the approach of death he was unable to recite the kalima in spite of the repeated talqin reminder by those present. Al-Qamah radiallahu wife sent a messenger to the Holy Prophet sallam, to inform him of Al-Qamah's grave condition. The Holy Prophet sallam, asked whether the parents of Al-Qamah were alive. He was told that Al-Qamah's mother was alive. The Holy Prophet sallam, asked the aged mother about Al-Qamah She informed him that Al-Qamah was a very pious person He passed his time in Salah and fasting He also performed Tahajjud however He always disobeyed her for the sake of his wife I am therefore displeased with him The mother said The Holy Prophet sallam, said It would be best for him if you forgave him However She refused so the Holy Prophet وسلم, ordered Bilal وسلم, to gather firewood and burn Al-Qamah in the fire. On hearing this order, Al-Qamah mother asked in horror, Will my child be burnt in the fire? The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, Yes. Compared to the punishment of Allah SWT, our punishment is light. I take an oath by Allah وسلم, that as long as you remain displeased with him, neither his salah nor his sadaqah charity I accepted. Al-Qamaz mother said, I make you and all the people present witness that I have forgiven Al-Qamah. The Holy Prophet وسلم, addressing the gathering said, Go and see if the Kalimah is on the tongue of Al-Qamah. After returning from Al-Qamah the people brought the good news that he was reciting the Kalimah. Thus, he left this world with the Kalimah on his lips. After burying Al-Qamah the Holy Prophet وسلم, said the curse of Allah Azzawajal is on the one who causes difficulty to his mother. The curse of the angels and the curse of mankind are on him. Allah SWT neither accept his compulsory nor his optional worship as long as he does not repent and obey his mother. He has to gain her pleasure as best as he can. Allah SWT Pleasure depends on the mother's pleasure and his displeasure depends on her displeasure. Model, we must always strive to please our parents because if we don't, then our good deeds will not be accepted by Allah. Jazakallah khairan. Thanks for watching episode number 17 of the Storytime series Barakal Afiq. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and the bell notification button on. I'll see you in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.